he gets there. The alternative media, Jerry. That's where you hear the truth. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. You're listening to The Morning Monarchy for Tuesday, September 13th, 2016. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. Speaking of backdoor spy holing, when a rocket operated by space startup SpaceX burned up on the launch pad, it was a setback to the prospects of commercial space travel, as well as efforts by Facebook to control the online experiences of millions of rural internet users. Facebook's project, internet.org. Does that sound so simple? Described by founder Mark Zuckerberg in charitable terms, but critics have accused it of spreading techno-colonialism. The September 1st fire in Cape Canaveral, Florida, destroyed a $200 million satellite owned by Spacecom, an Israeli communications satellite firm and co-leased by Facebook. The satellite, Amos 6, was built by Israel Aerospace Industries, a government-owned aviation and aerospace manufacturer. Facebook's partnership with Spacecom is another sign of the corporation's deepening ties with Israel. In June, Facebook appointed Jordana Cutler, a close advisor to Netanyahu, as head of policy and communications at Facebook's Israeli office. Facebook was counting on the satellite to beam internet service to sub-Saharan Africa as part of its ambitious internet.org project. The Los Angeles Times reported that Spacecom's stock fell 9% on the Tel Aviv stock exchange after the explosion. Zuckerberg shared his dismay in a post on his Fedbook page, saying, As I'm here in Africa, I'm deeply disappointed to hear that SpaceX's launch failure destroyed our satellite that would have provided connectivity to so many entrepreneurs and everyone else across the continent. Internet.org would help users get online in areas lacking conventional internet access, and the service, which works in partnership with local mobile phone companies, is launched at least provisionally in 48 countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. In addition to satellites, Internet.org plans to use cutting-edge solar-powered drones to expand internet access in remote parts of the world. The service is not without controversy, though. An offering called Free Basics would provide users who can't afford full internet access with a curated selection of websites tailored for use on low bandwidth devices such as older dumb phones. Free Basics generated international protests after it was rolled out in India and was eventually blocked by the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India in March 2015 for violating the principle of net neutrality. In a May 12th analysis for The Guardian, Mumbai-based journalist Rahul Bashia suggested the failure of Free Basics was also due to Zuckerberg's dismissive attitude towards the Indian government and people. An unnamed Facebook executive told Bashia that Zuckerberg made the mistake of thinking that a third world country is a banana republic, so institutions, the press, the public, they can be bypassed. Google and its parent company, Alphabet, also intend to spread internet to rural, underserved areas through the unique balloon-based Project Loon. Tech site Project Pocket Lint reported in March 2015 that SpaceX hoped to offer internet service through its satellite in what reporter Luke Edwards called an internet space race. Pranesh Prakash, a representative for the Center for Internet and Society, an NGO based in Bangalore, India, questioned the company's motivation in a June 2015 interview with Al Jazeera. They're doing it out of their self-interest. They are not doing it because they're charities, because they believe in altruism, etc. They're doing it because having more people online benefits them. Aral Balkan, a human rights activist, said, I wouldn't call it philanthropy, I'd call it colonialism. In an August 2013 post on his homepage, Balkan went into more detail about his strong reservations about why Google and Facebook want to be the ones providing this service. Google and Facebook want to give everyone access to internet because they need more raw materials, more data, your data, so they can cultivate more digital serfs to sell to their customers. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.